I'm going to try to make this tutorial as brief as I possibly can. To get everything ready for yourself before you start, you're going to want to go to the link in the description, download Mod Assistant, and download Cherry. Once you've got Mod Assistant open, you make sure to read this because it's very important, and you're just going to hit Agree, and the Mods tab will be open. If it asks you to select your game directory, you go to Options, and put it in here. To find your game directory on Steam, you go to Beat Saber, Manage, Browse Local Files, and they'll be here. This is your game directory. You can copy this into the mod assistant. From here, the mods you absolutely need are BSIPA, Songcore, Chatcore, and Enhanced Stream Chat. So just make sure you tick these two. This one's already ticked because if you tick Enhanced Stream Chat, it automatically ticks it. And from here, you can select any other mods you want. Just hit Install or Update, and your mods will be all installed. You're going to X out of that, you're going to go to your cherry, and you're going to install the DLL file. So once you have this file, you're going to want to go to your Beat, uh, Beat Saber directory, which I just showed you how to get about two minutes ago. And then you're going to want to go to your plugins folder, which is currently empty, and you're just going to want to drag it in. Like that. And that's all we have to do so far. So the next thing you're going to want to do is open up Beat Saber. And if everything worked, your game should open no problem. I have already have this set up, so I have my Twitch chat already here. But I'm going to show you how to set it up if you've never used it before. You're going to go to your web browser, and there'll probably already be a tab open with this page up. This is the chat core config window. Yours will look a bit different. You will have no OAuth token put in here, and you won't have a channel put in here. For the purpose of showing everything, I'm just going to redo it. So once you have this page up, you're going to need to log into your Twitch channel like this. It's going to just do all this, tell you what it needs access to. You just click Authorize, and it's automatically going to fill your OAuth token in. And then for your channels, you're just going to type in your channel name, like that. Click Enter, and click Save Settings. And once that's done, you go back to Beat Saver, and your cha you switch your new chat window here. Um, you can move this however you want with this little settings icon. You can click Allow Movement, and you can drag it around freely. I'm not going to right now, because I like where it is. And then here... To request songs, you will click on this little cherry icon in the main menu, and this will bring up your request queue. So the way to request songs is like this. Let's say I want to request Kumu Koopa Troopa Beach. What you would do is you would go to Beat Saver and you would find the song you want and click the little Twitch icon right here. This will copy the command you need to input to your clipboard. So then you're just going to go to your chat, and you're just going to paste it, and you should see this, and it should say added to queue under your own username. But keep in mind, your viewers are going to be requesting songs for you to play, if you want that. And then once you're in here, if you click on the cherry icon, right here, Kumu Koopa Troopa Beach, requested by, it says who it's requested by, it says uh, the upvote ratio, it says how long it is, and then you can just click download. And then you can play it in here. So yeah, that's really it to having a good stream on Twitch. You just want to make sure your chat is set up and you have song requests all good. It's going to be a great experience for your viewers. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.